Welcome back, Plug Nation. Today, we got some crazy information. You already know I like this any time, so whatever you gotta do, make sure that like button is blue, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's get right into the news. So Luck went to Twitter and he said, what's one thing NBA 2K23 needs to have? And if we're being realistic, you know we're not gonna get cross-play or be back on one game. I would say for me, it would be to make sure the builder system is right, but before that, have a season grind and a legend grind at the exact same time. So the people that are able to play the game for a long amount of time are able to get these crazy rewards and then the people that don't have a lot of time are still able to get rewarded for playing you see what i'm saying like both people are still able to get good rewards now we all know ronnie 2k has pretty much hinted at seasons being back in the game for nba 2k 23 so we already know that's going to be in the game now if they only do that that's still fine as long as the rewards are good the, the rewards are something that you want to grind for this year the bunny suit you know the skeleton mascot maybe that's a cool like level 30 reward there's got to be things that you really want to get on to play like this season the mascots came back way more people have been playing 2k you can tell a lot of people have came back just something simple like that boom people are going to be on the game much more so dom 2k went to twitter and said what did y'all think of the nba 2k 23 trailer and i'm looking at this i'm like wait a second wait no 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 there's not enough sweat that is not a real trailer right there. So don't get fooled. Like I told you all, man, the 2K23 news when it comes out is going to be here. Now, he did that as a joke. But all the news for this game, when it starts coming out, flying out, it's going to be right here just like it is every single year. But Laker fan, a 2K YouTuber, went to Twitter and dropped one of, if not the best idea I've seen this entire year, especially for this late in the year. He said, was discussing with Tonic. But it'd be extremely smart if 2K made the last two seasons of 2K22 get rewards for 2K23 launch. Even if they're slightly minor, it not only drives so much more activity to your game late in the year, but get people hyped for 23 launch even more. So, are they going to do that? We do have two seasons left. We have season 8 and season 9. And 2K has already dropped, you know, the jetpacks and the mascots and the Steph Curry, you know, the Curry slide. So... That does leave a question. What are they going to do for season eight and nine? And it would be absolutely amazing for 2K to do something like this. It would be one of the smartest moves they've made this entire year by far because you're going to have people on the game grinding, which is going to, you know, increase the player count. The investors are going to be happy, which I'm pretty sure this is why they did this anyway with season seven, dropping the mascot so late. Jetpack, Curry Slide was to show their investors, hey, look. We got a lot of people playing even at this time of the year when the game is not supposed to be alive. So for some reason, people are playing this game so much this year at this time. Look at this, guys. Invest. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to make their investors happy. So 2K, if you're not doing this, go ahead. Add it into the game because this would be huge for the company for Season 8 and Season 9. And if not... At the worst, if you can't do it this year and you're like, wow, that's an amazing idea because why not do that at the end of the year? Put it into 2K23. Absolutely amazing idea. Not even if it's, you know, if there's seasons, legend grind, whatever it is, have some rewards in the game so people can unlock for the next game. Doesn't matter if it's clothing or plus one attribute sleeve, something little to get people excited for the next game and to be still playing the current game. Because I know a lot of people, let me know in the comment section, are you guys still playing NBA 2K22 right now in the year? What are you playing? Park, my team, doesn't matter, let me know. But anyway, there's a huge issue, a big issue. Now, season seven just came out. It's great. The mascots, jetpack, curry slot. It's actually a pretty good season. Compared to the other ones, it is definitely a W season. There's lots of people back on the game playing, trying to grind and get these mascots, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we have a big issue, though, with the mascots. This guy added me and said, people are getting kicked when a mascot steps on the court. It happened with the affiliation mascots, too, but none of y'all talk about it. Dot, dot, dot. So look, I actually know about this glitch. I uh, seen someone talking about it like a week ago, but I've seen no one else talking about it. So I didn't know how big of an issue it is. Apparently, it's only on next gen. And that issue is pretty big, though, for the stage or something like that, where if you have a mascot, it just kicks the they kicks him out the game. Like, just over and over, it kicks him out of the game. They cannot play a game with the mascot on in the stage or something like that. I don't know exactly, but 2K, that's got to be fixed, man. It's got to be fixed just like the jetpack. Like, why are you not able to walk around with the jetpack? You're not able to play a game with the jetpack on. You're not able to wear the jetpack with your mascot. These are very simple things, 2K. I mean, very, very simple things. They improve the quality of life. 
like agent would say on the game. Very small things, but they add up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this guy, the PC community is amazing. If you guys have never looked into it, absolutely amazing part of the 2K community. One of the best parts of the 2K community. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, look at this. Infamous posted on Twitter. And these are pictures of mini part 2.0, hashtag NBA 2K22. Look at how beautiful these courts are. I mean, stunning. Let's just look at one in general. I'm going to pop it up right here where it's just one picture. Look at that. One man created that. Or maybe a few people. I don't know exactly how many people made it. But it is so nice, 2K. Now, don't get me wrong. The artists that work for 2K are great. Season 5, 6, and 7. Three seasons in a row has been great court art. Like, it looks really good. But you got to hire some of these people as well. Especially if you do the idea that I've been talking about. NBA Live's idea. Because look. NBA Live is not making games anymore, so you might as well take some good things from their game and add it to yours, right? Hopefully, NBA Live makes a game at some point, but what I'm talking about is one game you're able to play in Paris. Now, it's, this doesn't have to take away the park, right? You're still able to play in the park, but then for like the 3v3 matchmaking that they have in the game, where you only play in one arena, say you take that exact thing that they have, but one game you're able to play in Paris, Miami, California, New York, China, Japan, over and over, you're able to play at famous basketball courts like Rutgers, you know, stuff like that. Now, I know NBA Live does have some contracts for some of the courts, but that's an amazing idea that you could easily add into the game. It's just a court, and I'm not going to say easily because I don't know how hard it is to make like court art and stuff like that, but I know 2K can do it. They're a billion dollar company, and that would make the game, just like I said, the quality of life, little things. Every time you play, there's 25, like NBA Live, there's about 25 to 30 different places you can play at. So every time, especially for a new player, you're playing at a new place. Now, even if you play at the same place, you'd have to play like 30 games in one day to play at the same place again. You know what I'm saying? Now, check this out. This is more art that one guy made or maybe like two or three. I'm pretty sure it's just one guy. Look at that. Imagine you load up into NBA 2K23, you go into the 3v3 matchmaking and boom, you're able to play in an arena that looks like that. And then the next game, you're playing in Long Beach, California. The next game, you're playing in Paris. You see what I'm saying? The next game, you're playing in Rome. Over and over, different sceneries, different colors, vibrancy, you know, all that stuff. 2K23 can easily have that. So I hope that 2K is looking at these PC modders because they're doing a really good job. They're doing a very good job job at what they do and i salute them so anyway it's your boy badge plug click on one of these two videos right here hit that subscribe button if you're new drop a like if you haven't yet and like i said guys 2k23 news is coming very soon like it's gonna just start flying out so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button even if you are subscribed or you just subscribed click the bell right next to subscribe so like all notifications that way when you get a video like this you can see it right away and i'm out peace